Hello and welcome back to our video series on how to use Excel Draw version 5. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create this drawing that we have here and I'm going to be showing you how to do that using the basic object adding features inside of Excel Draw. So I'm going to go ahead by copying all this data over to a new sheet for us so we can start with a fresh page. I'm going to go ahead and paste the values in here. And the first thing that I want you to uh, point your attention to is right up here. This is our basic adding objects feature. And these are all the basic objects that we are going to be using in this video. I also want to show you that the layout that we have currently is an X, Y, and Z layout. So since we do have a Z values included, we are going to want to enable this little button right here, which is Z values included. The layout for the objects that we have here are pretty straightforward and it's similar to what you would find in an AutoCAD setting where you have X1, Y1, Z1 and X2, Y2 and Z2. Depending on the objects, there are going to be different values for what you're looking for. You also have the option of selecting what layer you're going to be adding this to. So right here you can drop this down and select whichever layer that you would like to start creating your objects on. I'm just going to sporadically go in between layer 0 to layer 2 and just give us a good uh, good example as to what is possible. So the first object that we have right here is a circle. And you can see that the X y and z values of the circle is set to zero for the very first one. This is the center of the circle. Now the x2 value, which is the next value over, is going to be the radius. So how you add this in, you can simply just select your item and go up here to circle and add that in. And let's go ahead and zoom that back out right here. And as you can see, we have a circle. Now the other option that you have, you can just go down and select all of these and then click the circle again. And it will add in the rest of the values for you. So I just zoom back out and you can see we have a circle. I'm going to rotate this around so we can see it a little better. And there we have it. So that is the orientation for the circle. Your center point, X, Y, and Z, and then the radius. The next item that we're going to be looking at is an arc and I'm actually going to change my layer down to layer one for easier comparison with this. And with the arcs, it's laid out similar to the circles where your X, Y and Z one is the center of the arc. The X two is going to be the radius and then you have Y two as your starting angle and Z2 as your ending angle. And same thing as before, you can just either select one and click arc, and the arc is actually hidden behind the circle right there, you can't see it, or you can just select all of the arcs and add them in. So as you can see, we now have the arcs going around. The next item that I want to look at is a rectangle, and the rectangle is laid out similar to any AutoCAD program that you have that you're going to be making a rectangle with. The first point or X, Y, and Z1 is going to be the bottom left hand corner of the rectangle. And then the end point, which is the X, Y, and Z2 is going to be the top right hand corner of the rectangle. So it's going to be like that right there where this is your first point and this is your second point. So with the rectangle, you actually have two options. I'm going to have this option right here being a regular rectangle. If I click on that, you can see we have a rectangle there. And we also have the option for a rounded rectangle. That is something that was added in pretty late in Excel Draw version 4, but this does convert over into a CAD style drawing if you export it to DXF. So I will show that to you in a moment. Next is a line and a line is very similar to a rectangle where you have a starting point and then you have an ending point. You basically just select those and you go up to line and we're going to have a line going straight down through the center of our circles. 
Next is a point, and point is very similar to a line, except you can either have a single point like we have right here, or you can create two points by just having the x, y, and z two values also be data, and it will make two points for you. So I just have a single point, select that, and there we have a point. The next is text, and text is similar to a circle where you start off with the x, y, and z being whatever the location of the text is going to be at, and it's going to be the bottom left of the text. And then in the x2 portion, you have whatever you want your text to be. So make sure you select that and go up to text. And as you can see, we now have that right there. Now the final two are two new items that have been added into Excel Draw version 5, and this is first a polygon. A polygon is set up very similar to an arc where you have X, Y, and Z1 as your center location, same thing as a circle or an arc. You then have X2 being your radius. Y2 is how many sides you would like to have on your polygon and then Z2 is at what angle you want your polygon to be at. So if you select all of those and hit polygon, you can see we now have a polygon right at the top. The final thing that we have in here, and I'm going to swap back to layer zero for this, is the availability to add both points and line into a single object. Now this will create points on the separate layer as opposed to your line. And if you select this, it basically does, like it says, it combines both points and lines together. So click that, line and point. And we have a second line with two points. Now you may notice that there are separate colors going on for every object. This is the default setting inside of Excel Draw. If you uh, would like to have the colors based on layers, you can just simply go up here and select layer coloring. And then you can see that the different layers have different colors. You can also change those colors by going into the change layer colors option, or you can even hide and show selected layers. So for instance, I have layer zero selected now. If I toggle only show layer zero, you can see that I just have my one line. I can change this down to layer one, and as you can see, we have both the points, lines, polygons, arcs, rectangles, and if I drop down to layer two, you can see we only have our circles. So that is the basic functionality of how to add basic objects into Excel Draw. Now I will be getting more into this later, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to export into CAD. Again, this is going to be a function that I cover in a different video because we have different automations and things like that for exporting. But for now, if you'd like to export this into a CAD viewer, you can export a DXF by going right up here to the export DXF. Select your location of where you would like this to go to, and I'm just going to name this test2, and then click export. It's going to ask you if you would like to open it up, and if you click yes, it will automatically open up your default CAD viewer, which we have right here being Autodesk TrueView. And there we have our drawing. I'm going to go ahead and move this around so we can see it. And I'm going to rotate it as well. So yes, there we have our three-dimensional drawing that we have created. And as you can see, we also have the different layers. So you can toggle on and hide the different layers if you need to. And that is Excel Draw. Thank you all very much. In the next video, I'll be covering a few more of the features. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Thank you all very much. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of Great Tech videos and releases. Thank you all very much, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.